Hey collectors, Anthony from Mastersnet here and today we're taking a look at Transformers Studio Series The Movie 86 Bumblebee. He is the deluxe class. Uh, he is small. I'm going to compare him in a second with the previous uh, licensed version of Bumblebee. But uh, he does of course come with uh, instructions and a don't hurt yourself paper. So remember, don't hurt yourself. And he also came with a backdrop which is I guess the interior Unicron. So yay. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick look at the box, and uh, it's just the usual Studio Series 86 box. Here's the front of him in bot mode, side in bot mode, in the back here, both modes, 23 steps, backdrop, big screen inspired, scale detail, backdrop. Him again here, and that's pretty much it. So here is the Netflix version, and you can see size-wise, the Netflix version is a little bit more bulky, um, but, um, I mean, it's a... They're, Different approaches, the same character, and yet yeah, technically the one, uh, the new one is, um, I guess, more animation accurate. While this one's a licensed version of that character, I'm gonna probably end up putting him on the shelf instead of this one, just because of the shelf trying to be more animation accurate. But uh, here we go. Here's what the changes are. Here, his tires do not fold in on the new one. Uh, the panel does something interesting with his feet, with the latches together, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, not a big fan on that one. But, I mean, here's what the backpack looks like. His backpack is not de detachable, unlike the uh, Netflix one. And, then, of course, uh, he comes with a blaster, uh, basically similar to the one that came in the uh, the item pack with the uh, Centurion. I forget what his blaster looks like. Oh, his is the missile launcher. That's right. Because, you know, if Cliff Jumper is the first of the mold, everybody has to have Cliff Jumper's weapon. Anyway, let's take him away here. So, I'll just take a closer look at him. And uh, yeah, you got a you got that classic look on him. I, I get the uh, the deal with this. Uh, plus, probably the perfect one to put on the uh, um, what do we call it the uh, Ultra Magnus trailer. But let's take this out of the way. Uh, that way, the camera can focus more easily on this figure as we take a look at the weapon here. It has a peg for mounting on the back. We'll put that aside. So, um, it's very uh, in intricate transformation. And um, it's... it's uh, You feel like they took a little bit from the Netflix version and tried to adapt accordingly. Because the arms end up basically in the same position. Uh, but then there's, a, there's just this long chain of armatures that basically ensure that this piece is not a part-forming piece. But let's start at the feet. Well, I mean... You know, I already took this off, but we'll start at the feet technically. So here's what I was talking about. So the feet are on this little piece here that latches in. And um, I, I'm not, like, couldn't they have done something else? Like, it's already on, like, a ratchet. It's a two-part ratchet. They didn't necessarily need the piece, I don't think. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so we are going to fold this piece in, and we're going to do that on both feet and uh, so the legs, after we unfold this, uh, fold in on themselves. Um, it, it, it's because it's so intricate that uh, it might take a little bit of effort to get to it. But um, when you get it, you end up completing the front end, of course. But uh, we basically have to fold the knee the opposite direction and uh, get it to come back up while also folding the back. But you know what? For the ease of my cell, I'm going to take off his front end right here, which you end up like this. Uh, if we pull this up, there is a armature inside the armature. This kind of reminds me of Cyclonus in that way. Um, fold this forward to put the head in place, and then you can move this up in that way. Uh, it's a little less in the way. You can fold the arms out and T-pose it if you have to, because you need to get that uh, front end to fold. And uh, make sure you keep adjusting the waist. Uh, this is probably the most difficult part of it uh, because you need it to be flat. And uh, before I forget, uh, because I kind of went above, above it, um, these pieces fold in like this. So, um, you know, don't get too far and then forget to fold those pieces in. But anyway, we're, we're still folding this. I'm going to try to attach it together and see if that makes it easier to fold up his torso. Because nothing else, like, detaches for it. And uh, you got to get it to lift up to kind of get this in right here. You, see, you can see where I'm going already. 
So, um, this part, I'm going to lift up the back end here and get it out of the way. And uh, we're going to fold the arms down like this. So they're at 90 degrees. You're going to attach them here. And then you're going to close the wheels. So this is all very loose, but we'll snap it together in the end. So this armature bends down about 45 degrees like this. And uh, now we, we can we, we got everything into position. And so this is what the arms I was talking about because for the um, Netflix Bumblebee and, and the Cliff Jumper, uh, you would attach the back end into the arms here. But anyway, we'll um, start putting things together here. Make sure that this area is flat here. And go ahead and push the windshield in. Then the, if you did it right, the, uh, the wheel sh in the back should also line up. And make sure there's an exact, exact 90 degrees there. And then you should be able to just, there's a tabs here at the back on the, the fender. Push it in and tighten it all up there. And there we go. We got Bumblebee in this squished form. Very nice. Uh, you clearly tell a very squeezed uh, uh, robot in there. I thought maybe you could place the weapon inside here if you wanted to. Kind of just like stick it in here. Uh, let's see if I can get it to do it. I figure like upside down. You know, just to keep it out of the way and then fold the hands back. And yeah, it works. It, it, uh, you can hide it in there if you want to. Um, although the typical usage for the weapon... So if we can put the arms back is actually on the back here so that's where he ends up it's fine i prefer hide it inside if i was going to keep this in vehicle mode but uh yeah that, that's essentially it for this guy uh it, it's a nice small figure um i wouldn't necessarily pay full price for it because it is really really small um i think i got it on sale so uh yay but uh, definitely worth getting if you want to complete that Studio Series collection. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.